This is our new version to sublimatable video flex. We call it sublimation flex and it comes in sheets. The sheet size is 25 by 30 centimeters. Uh, this version 2 flex is brighter in color, it has a higher definition and the durability is improved to be the same as our standard video flex and it's easier to use and to cut. Okay, so the first step to use this flex is to use sublimation paper. You're going to use your registration marks in Silhouette Studio and you're going to mirror your image when you print. Okay, so that little square will be on the right hand corner. Okay, so your flex needs to be exactly the same size as your print. So if it's an A4 print, this needs to be cut to an A4. It's going to turn it around. Line it up. I'm just going to use heat tape just to secure it when I cut it. Okay, now it's secured to my flex. Now I can cut it exactly the same size. So this is my um, cut out sublimation flex, the A4 sheet, and then you're going to put your print exactly on top of it, line it up. Okay, if it's lined up, you're going to use your heat tape and you're going to secure it to your press. And you're going to set your temperature to 165 degrees and your time to 90 seconds. I then press it for 90 seconds, medium pressure, so I'm going to close the press. Okay, so remove your print from your video flex. So this is what it's going to look like. Remember that you need to press it on the white side of the video flex. The back side is silver, this is your plastic side. So it's only this side. This we're going to put into our vinyl cutter now and cut it out on the registration marks. So we're going to take our flex that's sublimated and we're going to put it on top of our cutting mat. Line it up exactly in the corner. normal um, video flex settings on your vinyl cutter um, on your silhouette studio um, your blade will be between one and two so now it's picking up all the registration marks and now it's going to start cutting take out all the access um, via video flex around my image okay so it's, we took it off and now to lift this from this backing because you can't just put it on top of your t-shirt and press it because the silver side is the glue and now it's on the plastic so if it has little pieces like this we recommend you use application tape to lift the image so we're going to do the application tape one. This is my application tape. Okay, put it on top of your image. Okay, so you need to rub it. And then we're going to lift it like that. See how it lifts with the application tape. Sure you lift everything okay I so let your press cool down to 160 degrees and then we're gonna put your shirt 
answer. Okay, I'm just gonna pre-press it to get rid of all the wrinkles. And so now we're gonna take this and put it on top of your shirt. Line it up in the middle. And we're gonna press this for four seconds just to get your video flex to be a little more attached to your shirt. We're gonna press the video flex with the application tape for only four seconds. If you do it longer than four seconds, your um, sublimation will transfer to your um, application tape and then it's gonna look faded. So we will press it afterwards for five seconds to your shirt. So just close your press for four seconds. Remove your application tape. See it already transferred a little bit of sublimation, but not all of it and it's not faded. So only four seconds. Okay, now you can take your silicone paper, put it on top and press it for 12 seconds on 160 degrees. Look at that.